Ahoy, salty dogs! Lens Cap here, and we're playing Star Mage today. This is episode 19. 19 episodes, guys. That's awesome. Uh, we're still Dave, though, so we got to do something about that pretty soon. Um, we're sitting on top of the asteroid that we created uh, in the previous episode. Let's hop up. And uh, we're going to take a look at uh, what's what's going on today. Um, so I've done a few things. I uh, did some smoothing out of the asteroid so it doesn't look quite as square. Um, I think it turned out pretty well. Looks pretty good. There's our asteroid. It's not very big, honestly, but it doesn't need to be so big. Um, I also put in this little hangar here. Um, I figured this is just a single player world, so I don't have to have all of my ships docked to my station. They can, I figured the bigger ships can just kind of float around in space near the station and send a docking craft, like a small car kind of thing, um, to dock in the, uh, in the hangar here. Now, I know this is pretty dark. Let's turn on lighting. Now it's really bright. Um, anyway, there are four docking bays. One here, one here, one here, and one here. I left some of the stone exposed. I thought that looked cool. Kind of have some stone showing through. Um, we need to decorate a little bit more. So far, there's not really much going on here. But uh, we're kind of at the apex of our size. Um, we can extend this way if we go, if we fly into the wall. Um, we can extend this way and make a hallway kind of behind, uh, behind all the uh, hangar bays. Yeah, that, but <laughs> behind the hangar bays. And um, this is, we're outside now, so you can see there's exposed hull in places, uh, which I thought was actually kind of a cool touch. And here there's some. So yeah, so that's the asteroid so far. Um, I do have some good plans for that. I have plans for, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, different rooms I want to put in it. And I've got those written down in my notes. Uh, maybe we'll work on that uh, in the near future, near-ish future. Um, today, we're going to hop out of our asteroid because we're not working on this today. Um, today, we want to head back to the B. And we're going to work on the B a little bit more. Uh, everybody's really excited for the B ship, and I am too. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's finished. Um, and it's coming along so well. Um, I figured we'd work on it a little bit more today. What? Jump drive computer, rail docker. We're in the mining ship, but I don't... I don't have... Where are my, uh... My salvage computer? Cannon? Salvage? I mean, I have one. But I can't... It's not in my menu. Uh, that's weird. Okay. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. Are my guns still linked to it? That would be frustrating. Yeah, they're there. I don't know. That's crazy. Uh, okay. Well, let's charge our jump drive. And head off toward the bee. And we should be, yeah, there's our B ship. Oh, I'm zoomed way out. <laughs> okay, uh, there's the B ship. Very nice. Let's, uh, system north. There we go. Uh, okay, so there are a few things we want to work on today. Um, I want to start with wings. So we want to add on the wings. We may get to legs. We may save that. Um, the mobile legs. I'm gonna have to do some testing on the rotators. I haven't played with the uh, with the real rotators any yet. But uh, since we've got our mining ship here, we have literally every item that we own uh, with us here at uh, at the Queen Bee. So that's very nice and useful. 
Let's hop out of this. I have no idea what's going on with my salvage arrays. Hopefully that gets fixed. I, uh, I really need those. In case we need to get some more loot. Or, uh, or salvage some things. Alright, so... There's no, um... There's no brown... Glass. Crystal. There's no brown crystal. Uh, which I was gonna use for the wings. So that's kind of disappointing. We're gonna have to come up with something else to kind of suit the place uh, of that. Um, also, I was kind of looking at the shape. I might want to change this up a little bit and kind of buff out shoulders. Uh, but I'm not sure if I want to do that. Uh, it definitely would help, I think, the look and feel. So it's kind of motorcycle tank shaped instead of... Uh, more of a cylinder. Okay, let's uh, let's mess with it and see what we come up with. All right, so uh, so I let's look at it. I altered the shape a little bit, um, and I really like the way it turned out. Uh, it definitely looks more uh, more of the shape I wanted. More uh, kind of like shaped like a motorcycle gas tank than like a, than like a heart um, or like an anatomical heart versus a. Uh, uh, <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, but, uh, that means that the inside has changed a little bit too, um, and I did clear away all the extra blocks inside, which, uh, more armor, uh, that could be good, uh, you know, more armor is not a bad thing, um, but I would rather have more ship systems, um, or at least the option for more ship systems at this point, um, because I don't really know what to expect yet. So, uh, basically, I just need to fill these rooms out with gray hull now. Um, finish the, the shapes that they were. Because, um, you know, we took away a bunch of blocks, so. Whoops. Yeah, because we took away a bunch of blocks, so now we gotta, we gotta fix the walls. Um, I'm not gonna redesign the interior. I really liked uh, the interior that I had, so I'm not gonna bother with re um, with redoing any of that stuff. I'm just gonna do gray hull uh, around the side. I think that looks good. I think that looks good. We can add in the decorative bits um, if we need to as well. Let's check the captain's quarters mirrored on the other side and see if that worked out also. Um, for the most part it did. There's a couple blocks like there we can put one. Yeah, actually that should be uh, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Okay, and then we've got less exposed hull on the interior. There's definitely still is some, um, which is fine. You know, no, no problem there. Um, there's one there that I can't do anything about. That's external. I mean, I guess I could do something about it if I really cared, but <laughs> it's fine. All right. Okay, so since we changed the shape of the thorax of the bee, we're going to have to change the leg placement. And But let's worry about that once we get to legs. Today we want to do uh, wings. So I've got some reference images. Hold on, let me get my, my phone out because that's what I used... Uh, to display my reference images for myself, so uh, I've got some reference images of hornets, so I can take a look at kind of how their wings connect to their bodies, and it almost looks like I'm gonna try and use brown, uh, brown hull and orange glass for their wings. I think those colors will work the best. I need to extend this a little bit. There, that's better. Uh, maybe not that one. Yeah. Okay, so wings attach kind of like right here, almost in the middle. Um, so they have kind of like a lump <laughs> that they hook into, kind of like this shape. And let's make it extend out a little bit further, actually. Like that. 
Uh, yeah, and then maybe right there, maybe like that. Uh, that's almost too square. There we go. That'll work, and we can uh, we can do wedges or whatever to to make it look better. Okay, how's it from the back? Does that give us enough room to work with? I believe this does. Okay, so there's our brown. So now we kind of want to come up and out a little bit. They need to be about this this long. And we're not going to make these on rotators or, or anything. They're just going to be stationary. Okay, let's see. Do, should we move them up and in one more block maybe actually? No, it's fine. Let's just, let's see what happens. Let's go with it and see what happens to them. I'm trying to, uh, just trying to get it to look the way I want it to before we get too deep into it, you know, uh, okay, let's, let's roll with it. So, uh, so they're brown, they're gonna be, like, they're gonna stick up and out. Here, let's just do this, I'm gonna... Let's just make a shape. Let's build a shape. Then you come kind of up, but not really drastically up. Like that's maybe far enough, maybe a little bit farther. And they don't have to come way out either, but they do need to come out. Maybe like that. Here, let's... Let's do this to kind of speed up this process a little bit. And then about, uh, let's call it about here, we'll go out again. And okay, that's, that's about right. That's about the right shape. Um, we need to go out further, maybe here. I don't think we need to go up again, though, so we'll just go out. And then we'll go out one more. Well, no, they kind of, uh... Let's take a peek. Let's look. Okay, that's pretty good. Not sure how I feel about that brown just yet. Let's go out one more time. Okay, and that should be the length of our wings. All right, let's round them off and fill in the cracks and see what we think. All right, uh, so I've got some wings on the B. Looking pretty good. Um, I'm okay with this. I'm not, uh... I'm not sure. Something isn't quite right, but they look pretty good. Um, I don't know. I like this. Um, I think if I do wedging, I think that would help. Maybe if we throw wedges in instead, uh, so it's a little more smooth, because they are wings. Um, I, I'm not ready for wedges yet, though. You know, we gotta, we gotta finish construction before we start prettying and gussying and, and, <laughs> and all that stuff. So, wings, yeah, those are looking pretty good. I'm okay with this. I like the shape of them. Um, I, uh, I'm not sure about the orange, though. The brown looks good. I wish there was brown crystal, but there isn't. Nothing really I can do about that. I guess the orange isn't so bad. It's kind of growing on me a little bit. What do you guys think? How do you feel about the wings? Uh, let's uh, let's do a little bit of work together. I think I want to extend these bits a little bit, maybe to there. On a turned off symmetry, let's to take a look at it. Let's uh, let's turn some symmetry back on. I think I want to extend these wingy bits like like that. Um, and these are just for structure. They uh, they just kind of make it look more stout. Um, 
So it looks like the wings are held in place by something and not just, uh, not just kind of free floating, which, whatever, it's a spaceship, they can be. <laughs> but, uh, you know what I mean. It looks more insectish, I think, uh, feels better that way. Uh, maybe we extend the middle one a little bit further as well. Maybe not quite that far, maybe there. And we'll bump this out two more. And we'll pump this out one more. Come on, there. <laughs> uh, okay, that's working. Let's pull these in, though. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, like that. I like that a little better. And then it looks kind of rounded around the edge. Yeah, that looks good. The B, so the B wing, not too bad, not too bad. Um, it definitely is looking more and more like a B every time we add something. We should do legs soon. I can't wait to see it with the legs on it. That's going to look awesome. All right, so legs. Uh, we're thinking about legs next. Um, I'm not ready to start adding legs yet, but we can go ahead and figure out their placement. Uh, since we did kind of move some stuff around, we definitely need to figure out where they're going to come from. Um, so I think uh, before we had them right there, near right at the bottom, which uh, is maybe still okay. Um, I think we want them... Um, Closer, they definitely need to come out of the bottom, but maybe closer, maybe a little bit higher up, like the front legs. What if we, let's put them there. They'll come there, because they're going to come, remember uh, from a previous episode, we're going to have some cool logic behind these, and they're, um, the bee's going to have like a docking mode where the legs move, and there, and maybe this, maybe there. I think that'll be good for our legs. Um, so the back legs are going to be stationary. They're just kind of going to do like this, kind of this direction around the uh, the abdomen. And they're going to have to come out kind of far and then cut backwards. We also have to be conscious. Uh, maybe they'll cut like in this direction because we do have to be conscious that there are drones in here. Uh, the two drones or the four drones or whatever. I'm going to make sure we don't block the drone bays. Um, I still am not sure what I'm going to do about the door for this thing, man. I've, I've tried a couple ideas, uh, but I just can't get anything I like. So we'll figure that out when we get there. Um, so anyway, the back legs, so I was talking about legs. The back legs are stationary. Uh, the front legs are going to go almost straight down. They'll probably come down and maybe curve back a little bit at the end like this. And then when we hit, like, landing mode or whatever, like, like you know, deploy your landing gear, <laughs> the uh, these legs are going to be on rotator blocks, and they're going to be almost straight down. And then when we hit the button, they're going to extend out, like, 45 degrees like that. So it looks like the B ship is, is grasping on to whatever it's docked to. Uh, the front legs are going to do something similar, but even, even further uh, to an extreme, right? When we're flying, they want to be almost straight down with a little bit of a curve back. And we can simulate the curve by just building the legs kind of curved like that. Um, docking mode, of course, they're going to have to come out as well, but that's going to look weird if we've got these are straight down, these are tilted back, and these are also straight down. So they're going to have to curve forward. So they're going to come out. So this axis of motion, they're going to come uh, 45 this way. And then they'll also have to swing forward, so they'll have to swing 45 this way as well. Um, so that's something we're going to have to figure out how to how to manipulate and how to manage. I don't know very much about the rotator blocks. We're going to have to play with that. Maybe we'll do that next episode. Um, I think that would be cool. But I, I think that's uh, that's the plan for the legs, and I think that's a good plan. Well, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed uh, my video today of... Um, of the B ship and, and adding wings to it. Um, it's definitely coming along nicely. I'm, I'm really happy with the progress we've made on the ship, um, considering that it started off with nothing. <laughs> and uh, so 
Uh, so I'm Lenscap. Make sure you hit that like button if you liked the video. And we'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned.